Hi. I've always been fascinated by trains, particularly steam locomotives. A few years ago, I happened to be at the right place at the right time to capture a steam locomotive challenge unlike any I have ever seen before or since. The resulting film was called The Rock Trains. Since its release, it has been enjoyed by families with children and great-grandparents around the world. I recently received permission from my distributor, Golden Rail Video, to show the entire first chapter of this feature-length film. If you like what you see, drop in on their website and have a look around. Well, enough of this. Let's start the show. Winter in the Pacific Northwest, always wet and cold. But the winter of 1996 saw an early chill and one of the biggest snowpacks in recent memory. When warmer rains finally arrive, the melting snow sends runoff to record levels. The Nisqually River goes on a rampage, carrying dirt, rock, and trees downstream. Along the Tacoma Eastern Branch of the old Milwaukee Railroad, a dirt fill leading to a 800-foot railroad bridge is washed away. Although the bridge itself is not damaged, over 350 feet of track is seriously compromised. The Mount Rainier Scenic Railroad, a prestigious excursion and restoration enterprise now operating on this branch, is essentially cut in two. To keep the excursion trains running, Two steam locomotives are trucked from the shops near Mineral Lake to the passenger depot in the little town of Elby. The city of Tacoma, now owners of the Tacoma Eastern Trackage, negotiate a loan to rebuild the line. By the fall of 96, plans for repairs have been approved. The fill is to be replaced with a bridge, much as it was when originally constructed back in 1907. The contractor will need rock and gravel to do the job, quite a lot of it. In an astonishing moment of logic, the railroad is subcontracted to carry rock from the quarry beside the railroad in Eatonville to the washout at the bridge. Rather than going to the expense of transporting their diesels to the maroon section of track, Mount Rainier Scenic Railroad decides to simply use the two steam locomotives already there to haul the trains. So this was not some sort of Sunday train ride. It is an actual emergency call to service for two survivors from the days of working class steam. These old locomotives will be once again challenged to perform the kind of revenue freight service for which they were originally designed. The crews will face the same challenges as railroad men of the past. This is the story of the rock trains.